Hello everyone. Now we're done. This is Sony Life. Okay, um today now updates for this city where they come on the eight, you know. A lot of people don't understand what's in that happened on the eight. So today now we we'll talk what in go happen for that eight. Um, let me just update to that one thing here. I'm trying to get this information here. Okay, I'm here. All right. All right, guys. This on your life. Now, don't mean now only the only thing we're concerned with will be the tribunal and the case. Now nah, they talk. So, everywhere has been quiet for a while, you know, nothing that happened. So, I don't have any need to post anything. As like I said earlier, I only post what, what is necessary. So, it's been trending, you know, they say the the tribunal, the court, uh, they are sitting on the 8th of May. Some people don't understand truly what thing they go do on the 8th of May. It's not actually the main sitting. Maybe the main sitting. Make a show now something. Please look on our watch. Make a show now something here. If you guys, if you guys can see from here, huh? When I go notice, when I go notice here, now I challenge is this presidential election tribunal commence hearing on the eighth. This eight, this is the reason for that eight. I know a lot of people are thinking it's the main city. It is not. It is not the main city. It is actually the hearing. It's a pre-hearing session. The hearing is to clarify if there are any applications before the main hearing will start. The timetable will be set for the hearing of the substantive matters. Substan substantive matters. I'm not going to know my mean. So make I come back to here. So what's in the ground? We say it's not the main hearing. The main hearing is scheduled for 10th, 12th, and 13th. 13th, the main tribunal hearing. You remember when they were, I think they nominated about five years. Uh, judges we've been on post them before mm? this is coming as per this thing has been trending this you know when people go put caption for news they're not going to actually explain them some people not been click and explain and they think say the tribunal is sitting on the eighth no now pre-sitting they could just check what in there what in the supposed they, they need to check so the main hearing is on the 10th 12th and 13th that's the information we know so far not the eighth mm? so this is just the update People don't call me that. I just say I can make a video about that. Apart from that, there is nothing happening so far. Peter B is just doing his normal soft thing. When I know I'm now, he will enter here, he will go here, do one or two things there, which is not much of a big deal to disturb you guys. Our concern is to get our mandate back. It's going to be sad to sit down and watch Tinubu be president of Nigeria. That was not voted by Nigerians. And it's also going to be very sad for the leaders of Nigeria to sit down and allow Buhari, ya, ya, Professor Yakubu, and some few IPC people in Abuja, there are less than 20, I keep saying it, to hijack the destiny of Nigeria and wreck this country. If people with resources and capacity will allow this, that would be very unfortunate. Then there's no hope for people like us and the rest of us watching. So we are hopeful we have to be hopeful that the tribunal, when they sit on the tent, they should do what is needed. Because a love is at stake. And I hope that we will follow what is needed to be done and get back this mandate. Or whether they want to go for re-election, they should go. And this time around, INEC must follow its guideline and they should upload the result to the IRF and declare the winner after counting the result from the IRF. 
if not so, I'm afraid of Nigeria. What is going to happen? See what thing happened for Sudan. It can happen in Nigeria. And if it happens in Nigeria, it's going to affect all of us. And the idiots in Abuja don't see that. They are just see what they can steal and eat. Those useless idiots say they are leading this country. And most of them are actually dying. They want to carry us and go to grave with them. And they brought even the worst person who is older than all of them to be president. So all of them want to go grave. They want to carry all of us to grave. So they know, okay, if Nigeria turned to Sudan, after all, a man not dying, so let's everybody die. I strongly hope that we don't go the path of Sudan. Nigeria will not accept Tinibu as president. As president, I don't accept him. He's not the president of Nigeria. He wasn't voted by Nigeria, 100%. If Nigeria voted, he will know. Popular demand or popular voice. How can you? Why should I vote in you for what? I don't hate them. So Ainek and Buari to sit down and rig the election and think they can force Tinibu on us is the last mistake they have done. So we have to wait till we are done with tribunal because I'm hundred. I'm so optimistic that a lot of people are just coming down for the tribunal. Make tribunal fuck up, force Tinibu on us. I'm 100% sure the Nigerians will wake up and I'm afraid. I hope it doesn't go the way of Sudan or worse because we won't take it. We can't take it. We can't stay in this miserable eight years of Buari and from fry pan and enter fire. In fact, grave inside fire. That's the open grave. Put fire so that as you enter, as you burn, finish. Now just to cover sun. It's not going to happen. There are a lot of people in this country that won't let that rubbish happen. So everybody is calm. So I'm going to relax, make the more rich on the tent. We won't accept Tinibu as the president of Nigeria. Totally unacceptable. It won't happen. It will not happen. Nigeria didn't vote for him. If you say we vote him, now we for no. Which people vote him? So this country doesn't belong to few people in Abuja. And I'm sure a lot of people are away. So now just the tribunal. And I strongly believe the tribunal will understand what is at stake and they do what is needful. Because if he busts, <laughs> the hits go there more for Abuja now. All of them not be for Abuja all day. We go to go escape. We can't force the on us. It's not possible. Anyway, today now update as for the tribunal. Because the only thing will concern us. Nothing else. There's nothing of importance. Nothing they have put for Nigeria that is important to me. Anybody. Now that tribunal. Finish. So the eights, like I say, now pre city now just to sit down and check one or two things, you know, matter anything. Now tenth, twelfth, and thirteenth. Now we know. Hmm? So that because people don't call me, ask me this eight, I say no, yeah. So for those who are just joining in, I don't already post them from the beginning. Scroll down, you can just see it. Eh? So now the update where they are not the light up too much. Hmm? My brothers and sisters are back, eh? Now the update be that. We're gonna know mind me. My channel is strictly for what they necessary. I'm just trying to add those magic to keep it alive. My concern is Nigeria to work well for all of us. The suffering is too much. It's too much. Almost everything is eating you. If government not eat you, terrorists go eat you, kidnappers go eat you, Nepal go eat you, data go eat you, you open business, they go thief them, they go extort them. That's nothing is working. They fall in go see them. What kind of life? It's difficult. So we need a better country. And Peter B is that hope. From the option that came, or they were available. So we can't allow these people in Abuja to continue the way they are. It's not going to happen. So let us be very hopeful that the tribunal, I'm just repeating myself, because that's the only thing so far, will do what is needful. So that Nigeria don't plunge into what we are afraid. Because if it happens, I don't think a lot of people will make it. The anger is too much. The people go just vex or die and I die. You can't fight people that have nothing to lose. When the entire youths are in the street, everybody is out of control. And they have nothing to lose. You can't fight them. They are over 150 million people. You know they Chris? So some few idiots in Abuja don't own this country. So I am saying this because to those people who have capacity and resources, they are leaders in their own capacity to make sure that this particular mandate the election results must be made known who will be winner. So, anyway, 
this is only life this is live session if anybody have any question to ask about anything i can answer them why are you doing what what are you doing going to do my brother it's happening already my brother uh michael john <laughs> what is happening already you get what you now understand 29th may they come that's not a problem make the tribunal sit first now we can't sit down here and talk about the future the only thing where they close to us now tribunal on the 10th make tribunal sit first until tribunal sit first then we can talk what is beyond the tribunal we can't sit down here and and, and predict 29th of may whatever happened i'm not a lawyer i don't know how long case they draw they draw 